People all around Portland are still in shock over the loss of the former Blazer great. Kersey died last night at the age of 52. Now, within just the last hour, we have learned that Kersey died from a blood clot that traveled from his leg to his lungs. He played for the Blazers in the 90s, and he's had a lasting impact on both the team and the Portland community. Dan Christofferson has been talking with the Portland Trail Blazers, and he is live at the Moda Center. Dan? Yeah, this one really hits a lot of people hard here in Portland. I'll tell you, I don't think I've ever seen as much sadness and heartache inside this uh, normally high-spirited Moda Center. And I guess when you think about it, that makes sense because Jerome Kersey was not here uh, filling the room with his engaging smile. There is a deep sense of loss in the Blazer family today, and we felt that when we met with players. Terry Porter, Jerome's old close friend and uh, 90s teammate, wept as he greeted other Blazer greats who came to mourn and honor what radio voice Bill Shonley called maybe the most popular blazer ever. That's high praise. Another old blazer told me about Jerome's great smile, how it lit up a room all the time. And Terry Porter really let out what fans in Rip City is feeling today when he said, I woke up and I thought it was a bad dream. <sighs> the joy and the, the smile, the way he embraced life, <laughs> the way he touched people. I'm hurt just like everybody else. I'm hurt. I'm hurt for Terry. I'm hurt for a lot of people, man, that love him. Too soon. All the good ones go too soon. Uh, Terry Porter and Brian Grant, who heard from there, they were both with Jerome Kersey on Tuesday at a Blazer appearance at Madison High School, and they just cannot believe that he's gone. A day and a half later here, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of celebration of life for uh, Jerome Kersey. Uh, Blazer president uh, Chris McGowan told me they're going to have patches on the bla players' uniforms and also have a moment of silence at the Blazers' next home game on Sunday. And they're planning much more to celebrate Jerome Kersey's life in the coming days. For now, we are uh, mourning a Blazer gone too soon here live at the Moda Center. Dan Christofferson, back to you.